Theory on Riemann, yeah, like, yeah. Him, yeah. <laughs> he was just, he was just, bro, he just, he inspired me. He turned me to Arsenal, man. I used to look at Henri and just be like, bro, that's my, that's my role model. Like, but I, I, every time I was playing football, I'll, my celebration, I'll try to do knee slides. Like, every, I've, I've let, like, right now, I've got Pepe in the back of my shirt, yeah. This shirt, I've got Pepe. Mm. This is the first footballer, yeah, that I've had Since at the back Henry. of my arm. Since Thierry Henry, yeah. I, all, all I've ever had was Thierry Henry at the back of my shirt every season. Yeah, when he left, I remember I was in tears. Yeah. Just touching on what you said, yeah come up with something that you think is a is the best way for maybe underprivileged kids who haven't got the funds and that to go see games because how many kids in england especially london man northwest london north london you know east london who are are, are so even south london big lovers of arsenal chelsea maybe any team and you know they just they can't go see a game, man. How 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 do you how do you think you know the best way for for them to kind of be facilitated um, in that way? I'll be honest with you. You know, it's it's so sad because it's like I think like that as well. Mm. But remember, not every kid has got parents that you know that can fund that. Like, if I had parents that could fund me going to you know tickets i would have been going arsenal when i was at the age of seven you get yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what i mean i've had to wait at a point where you know i'm independent I, 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 i'm finally grown i'm a grown adult now i can I, I can work you know i can earn a bit of money and i can independently you know go and be up sign up as a member and, and buy tickets to get so i've had to wait till i get into that position so i can do that Mm-hmm. But to, to to you know to prevent that happening to other people, I, I feel like clubs should come together and you know start up like a little scheme. Do you get? Mm-hmm. But I feel like I don't think that will happen because the amount of money that's going into football right now, I don't no, think. But, but why can't clubs, you take that money and and give that to common? It's not. It's not. That's the problem because there's a yeah. lot of there's a member of football. Unfortunately, our game, our beloved game, is turning into a business now. Here at Footy258, we're proud to present you with the best football-specific content. We work with many companies and many ballers to give you, the viewers, the best content possible. You, the viewer, we're always looking to help you improve your skill set. In order for you to improve your skill set and for us to keep making these videos, please click the link down below and buy some equipment. The equipment helps us run this channel and also you subscribing to the channel helps us producing more of these videos to help you with your skill set and your knowledge of the game. Thank you for supporting for you to five eight. To get mm. and I know I know it's I know it's hard to like accept it, but I've accepted it to get I accepted it a long time ago. I accepted it when 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 did I accept it? I accepted it when City when Chelsea come in I just started buying every player mm. they wanted. When C yeah. came in, bought Robinho, <laughs> I just went, oh my God, they were just dropping us 3-0 and I said, Manchester City are doing this to us. Yeah, like, crazy. I just started, I accepted it from young, I'll be honest with you. And it's like, with, and look, for example, like, I don't think that could even, I don't even think that will even be a, a debate right now. I don't think that will come into a conversation when it comes to the FA committee because, or the Premier League committee because right now, if you've heard they're going to be charging Premier League matches. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, £5 for the one... Oh, no, not £5. 15 I think it's £15 for, yeah, for 15. a pay-per-view. Yeah. That's, it's basically a pay-per-view for, for the for ones matches. that are not televised, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Crazy stuff. I, actually, you know what? Actually, that's going to be one of my new passions, actually, to actually reach out to the people, you know, who can make a change and provide a lot of schemes. There, there are schemes, of course, you know. But I heard, say, for example, I was listening to, um, I think, Poet. He was saying that he had something going on in his community. Um, I think it was like Tottenham area. Tottenham came, you know, took pictures, everything, played with the kids and new balls and stuff, and then effed off with the balls and that. 
and then the kids they have nothing to like show for it really you know what i mean they they got to train maybe for 30 minutes with a tottenham player but after that you know no funding nothing to help them you know yeah. you know um that's why it's for me i feel like it's up to the, i feel the only thing that can make only thing that can make a difference is for the young players the young professional footballers of today that are, that can understand you get me that can empathize that mm-hmm. all that can relate in some sort of way to all come together and start a scheme yeah, because I, I look at myself, for example, and me and my brother, my older brother, and my brother used to play football. He used to play for academy. You know, he used to be a ball boy, and, like, he was at Chelsea, so he used to go, like, Champions League nights and that. I used to get a ticket. My dad used to get a ticket, and that's how we used to go. Me, obviously, coming through at Arsenal, I used to get a ticket. I used to sit behind the away, the away dugout, so that was, like, yeah, so... He I was, was at Arsenal, wasn't it? Yeah, that was so yeah. eye-opening for me because, you know, you get to maybe... You know, at under nines, you get one ticket a year. Then under tens, you get two. Then it'll go up and up. And then under 16, 15, you get like every home game, right? But the point being, uh, point me saying that is if I wasn't in the position I, I was in, say, for example, I was a Sunday league footballer, I played for my borough team, and I, I was still good, aspiring to be a footballer, how would I get that extra inspiration if I've never been to even a game before of, you know, of, World class players like I was at, like I've been at mad games like as as a kid, you know, watching Arsenal and that. I was at obviously it was a it was a shit game to be at for an Arsenal fan, but I was at um when Ronaldo scored that counter attack goal with Part G. Three one Champions League away or nine. Yeah, I was at that game. You know, I saw that live. That mm. that was like the most craziest thing I could ever see live. I saw Ronaldo shoot from how far out forty yards for a free yeah. kick, and you know what I mean, like. That inspiration as a young kid, you know, that goes a long way. So I think there, there needs to be some, you know. That's what it is. So you've obviously got inspired by yeah, it. Exactly. You, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So that's you being, mm-hmm. at that time, a young player at a big club. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, imagine yeah. how many players now that yeah. have gone through that to get. Yeah, 100%. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's up to, for me, it's up to players, you know, to come up mm-hmm. with, 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 with the, you know, if they can come up with and amongst each other, have that yeah. conversation and see what they can do. Like, for example, Marcus Rashford, I yeah. rate that for the fact he's obviously speaking about, he's speaking out about the young, the young kids, you know, the yeah. young school kids, you know, about free school meals. And obviously he, he's, he's, he can relate because mm-hmm. obviously growing up, he had free school meals. So he knew it was like, you know, single yeah. mom, uh, you know what I mean? Working hard. So I respect that. Okay, I respect that because he's coming out and he's actually thinking about the future of the kids because he can relate. He went through that. So if only Rash was doing that, surely that can inspire all other yeah, footballers as well, other professional footballers to come out. But again, it's all up to professional players. It's all up to professional footballers right now because we're in a time now where it's a play, players have massive power. Like you see the power players have, even with their contracts. Mm-hmm. You get They've got massive, massive, massive power, like including agents. How, how much? Like, look at look at the way the agents have changed the game. Mad. To get, yeah. It, so good and bad players thing. have, huh? It's a good and bad thing what agents are doing, but yeah, yeah it can be a good thing, could be a bad thing, but sometimes it can be jarring. Like for example, Arsenal mm. recently we could have signed Hussam Awa from Leon, but apparently we couldn't com- complete that deal because the agent Hussam right. Awa, apparently Hussam Awa, his brother, who's his agent. <laughs> Was asking for like city commission fees, agent fees. So it's like little mm. things like that you get. And obviously, if clubs are big clubs at like Arsenal, they're in a position to be like, you know what, we're not going to be held to ransom by an agent. Sorry, mm-hmm. but you get. And yeah. that's why it can be a bit, you know, it could be a bit of a letdown yeah. because a player of Hussam, Hussam Awa's, you know, quality mm. being at Arsenal, wow, un- unbelievable for both parties. You yeah. know what I mean? So I feel like. Players have massive power, man. We're in a we're in a different time right now, man. Football yeah. in a different, complete different time. Players got power. They've got a voice now. They've got their social media. They've got so much tools they can use to get. It's all up to them. They've yeah. got the funds as well to set this up to get. Yeah, yeah. 100%. But again, obviously, like you said, football's a short career. Players obviously are looking at investments. You know, to how can they look after themselves after, uh, what, like when they quit playing football so there's so much things you know to consider there's so much things to consider 
That's what I'm yeah. saying. So it's, it's kind of a sticky one. But it's a great idea. But it's, yeah. it's got to come from a player to come out and, you know, to run with the agenda so other players can be like, you know what? That's a great idea. I'm, I'm going to be involved. It's, that's how it starts. It's like a domino effect. Mm-hmm. No, 100%. Even kind of a bandwagon thing with players, same as the public, you get one spark and then, you know, it does create a trend. And at the end of the day, I always say, people say, oh, you know, um, does that person really care because they they gave I don't know a thousand Reese James got criticized for giving I don't know it was like three thousand something like that pound to Wigan but at the end of the day he gave something he gave more he gave than, something he gave you know something I mean? and what I respect about Reese James I saw that post he added every Wigan player that's played for the club mm-hmm. and he goes listen guys I'm grateful that Wigan have gave, gave me that opportunity to go and play my football Mm-hmm. And they've done that for you as well. So, guys, this is a time to give back. Yeah. And for a young, for a young player to be calling out the likes of Jason Roberts, Hugo Rodriguez, and all these players, I just said, "Wow, yeah. that takes some balls. You got to have yeah. balls to do that." To yeah. get, yeah, no, I and, respect I, I, and I respect yeah. that. I respect that highly, man. And and mm. it's things, little things like that that can that can inspire people. It's things like that that can inspire <laughs> other footballers. Young, even young footballers coming through that are looking at Reese James. Yeah. You get every. I feel like when you get to a certain position, it's always important that you understand that your people are looking up to you. People yeah, yeah. are looking at you for inspiration. So you always got to lead by example. You get hundred yeah, percent. You always, you always got to lead by example. All right, we're gonna do a quick trivia questions. Um, I asked you already who your first game was, and you said oh six oh seven, and then you went to like your first run of games in uh, 2018. Who was your favourite player growing up? Yeah, it's just it's an easy question. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thierry Henry, man. Yeah, like, yeah. It's going to be him, yeah. <laughs> he was just, he was, bro, he just, he inspired me. He turned me to Arsenal, man. I used to look at Henry and just be like, bro, that's my, that's my role model. Like, bro, I, I, every time I was playing football, I would, my celebration, I will try to do knee slides. Like, every, I've, I've let, like, Right now, I've got Pepe in the back of my shirt, yeah? Of this shirt, I've got Pepe. Mm. This is the first footballer, yeah, that I've had at since the back Henry. of my arm since Thierry Henry. Mm. I, all, all I've ever had was Thierry Henry at the back of my shirt every season, yeah? When he left, I remember I was in tears, yeah, that season. He left and I said to myself, I'm not getting no footballer at the back of my shirt. Mm. None. Oh, you really get a the you noise, know, you know, I got Pepe this season. I got Pepe because I said to my, because I kind of got, because when he first came, there was one game against Manchester United where I said, you know, I'd rather we had signed Zaha, you get? Mm. And because I didn't really like that performance against Manchester United because he played against Tuzanabi, who's a centre back. Mm. And he got played out wide. He got played as a left back that game. And I said to myself, this is a great game for Pepe to, you know, exploit that weakness. You know, you're playing up against a, a player that doesn't play as a left back. He's not a natural left back. Yeah. Show him what you can do as a 72 million player. And, and I felt like he just didn't he just didn't show up that game. And you know, I was very frustrated because we didn't win. And I, I remember on AFTV, I must have said, I'd rather we assign Zaha. And I got a lot of stick for that. But I looked back later on, I said, you know what? I shouldn't have acted like that. But I kind of acted out of emotion, out of frustration, you get? Because yeah. of that chance he had to exploit that weakness. Does that make sense? Yeah. That so was one of my questions, you know. One of my yeah. questions... Well, I wrote down here. Do you get scared of saying anything on the internet? Well, at the end of the day, you know, you live your life, innit? Like, it's not, you don't get the same repercussions as you do as a footballer like myself, you know? So you can say what, really, what the hell you want to say, innit? But my point is, do you kind of be on edge sometimes? Oh, if I say this, then it's going to come back to bite me. In terms of what, though? That's what I'm saying. Me, if, like, if, internet nowadays is memes and everything like that, you know? Like, you see all the time, it's, it's always AFTV, um, people coming on AFTV, but they've said something a year ago, two years ago, it's come back to the, bite them. I see it going on with uh, Maguire now, you know? They, they've said a couple things um, about Man United's back four when, you know, they signed them. It's come back to bite them. I saw something even today where someone, it was some, an Arsenal fan, said they were going to get top four with that squad. Was it? Was it? I don't know. It could have been you, maybe. They said um, last, last year when they signed, um, when Arsenal signed Louise, they signed um, 
Saliba, oh, who signs Pepe, Pepe, Pepe Tierney, and and Tobias. and someone said one of the AFTV lot. I'm pretty sure said every. I, I feel like everybody did at that time. Yeah, they, everybody and it, was, and now was confident. It's come back, and now people on the internet are laughing because they never but, got before. Do you feel that pressure of saying whatever you you say on the internet? Uh, n- n- not when it's that because at that time I actually felt good at that time because I wasn't really too mad at Una Emery in his first season mm. because he has some decent games do you get like, mm. and I could see that he needed a, a window to get his players in does that make mm. sense so when he signed them players I, I came into the season very confident and I wasn't afraid to say, you know, we could get top four. You never know. Do you get? Because we did address what we needed to address. We needed a winger. We went and signed Pepe. When we signed 72 million Pepe, who had a buzz and he had a great season with Lil on, in Liga, yeah. I said, you know what? This is a great signing, 72 million. Wow, I can't believe it. Arsenal signed a play for 72 million. Yeah. Do you get? So in my head, I, I, I've got a lot of confidence. I've got, I'm very positive. And everyone had that mind state. Do you get? But what we didn't know was, Una Emery was going to lose the dressing room. We didn't yeah. know he was going to capitulate like that. Nobody knew. Yeah. And it was hurting game after game. Like when we were just seeing the decline, it was hurting. Like them games against Palace, Southampton at home. Ugh, just, you know what I mean? It was just all mad. And that I ain't got no issue with. But obviously, I'm a football man. So it, I'm always going to say something where, you know, I'm always going to look at it in a way where I've got to know what I'm saying. Do you get I'm not going to say something if I haven't done my research. Do you yeah, get With the Pepe situation, I said that because I backed up my point that he didn't exploit the weakness that Manchester United had and we signed him for 72 million. So people can understand my frustration there. And I did say I preferred Zaha because I know Zaha is Premier League proven. Yeah. Do you get And I know Zaha he's got that attitude and that desire when I see him on the pitch he's very hungry to get and he's an Arsenal fan yeah you know what I mean and he he, 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 he and I know when I look at him he wants that big move again because at Manchester United he never got that chance because mm-hmm. Fergie signed him and then Fergie ended up re- retiring mm-hmm. left him with David Moyes so that that for me was kind of unfair on him he never really got that you know for him to be getting that Manchester United move at that time shows he was a talented player 100%. So now is that time. I feel like he wants he wants to be proven again. You get it? Like look at KDB yeah, exactly. at Chelsea. Never got yeah. never got a look in. What happened? He goes, I'm leaving Chelsea. He went to Wolfsburg, proved himself. Came yeah. back to Manchester City. Now best midfield in the world. You get. Yeah. So it's like that's how I looked at it. And looking back now, I should have said certain things differently. But I learned that I spoke on emotions, which I shouldn't have done. Mm-hmm. I should have came in a. I should have spoke in a constructive way. Yeah. Uh, but I, I've learned that now. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because this wasn't something that I knew I was always going to be doing. Do you get? Yeah. It's, it's, you know what I mean? And I and yeah, I've yeah. learned now the potential I have, and I learned now that I can be professional because I've learned. I, I've learned that now I can say things in the right way that can be accepted mm-hmm. by professionals. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I've learned for me, in my um, opinion. I know AFTV, obviously, there's a lot of guys on there that don't really know about football, that haven't had that football background, that say certain things, you know, like, oh, watch, this player's going to score this much goals. Oh, that player's rubbish. And then all of a sudden, Boom. it's the other way around. You, get? Yeah. you know what I mean? And obviously, it's, it's, obviously, AFTV has always been an entertainment. Um, It's always been an entertainment platform, you know, where come, people come on there, just say what they're saying. Whereas when I came on there, I was trying to change the narrative. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to come on there and be a guy that's come from the the, the, the local community and yeah. has a little bit of football background in him. That, that yeah, has a, I, these, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I've always been a guy that I've always started, started football. I've always watching football in different leagues. I've always, you know, always been there watching 90 minutes. Always He's learning about the game. Football, period, anyway, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So I've always had that mentality where, you know, let me come on there and let me try to spit some realness. Mm, 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 you get it? Let me try but let me be entertaining at the same way. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Let, let's, let me not hide away from my character. Let me go on there and show my character, but also show my knowledge. Do you yeah. get just that balance? Does that make sense? Yeah, 100%. You know what um, I mean? Because I'm not... 
Yeah, go on, go on, sorry. Yeah, so I was saying, I'm not going to be a guy, you know, that just going to go in there and not show my character, just show knowledge. And I'm not going to be a guy to show character but no knowledge. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have that right balance. Because there's no point just going in there and bantering without showing knowledge. And then there's no point of me showing knowledge but not showing my character. There's just no point. Does that make sense? So I feel like, let me just have that right balance. And yeah, yeah and that's, that's it. That's, that's how I looked at it, to be fair. For more content like this, like, share and subscribe. Mm-hmm.